Ladies and gentlemen, this is massive. We have a scandal of enormous proportions. This is bigger than GameStop. This is a $20 billion scandal. This is insane. Now, I may be on vacation. I may be actually camping right now doing this in my car. I don't have access to running water or electricity, but I'm bringing you this news. I love you that much. Now, Archegos got liquidated. It got margin and cold. You probably heard all of that news. It's part of a massive sell-off or Viacom CBS and Discovery and a lot of Chinese stocks like Baidu, a lot of actual collateral damage. You probably already heard about this in the news, but here's some secrets you haven't heard. There's a lot of it actually that missing from mainstream media. Where does this end? Is this just the beginning of something that could turn uglier? Well, thanks so much for having me on the show. Um, uh, I think that the problem is uh, j just like uh, Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs, they, they were the American banks that, uh, in, in a way, way from ran the European and the Japanese banks. They sold first, right? And then we know Nomura and the Credit Suisse, they're still in the process of selling. And unfortunately, Bill won some of his um, uh, stock positions, especially in the Chinese internet companies. They, they are kind of uh, tricky to sell because they're not like uh, your your Tencent or Alibaba, they, uh, these stocks are more niche and they're not, they're not cheap. They never have uh, quite a bit of a um, long -only institutional investor backing. So I, 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 I see that uh, the, uh, these banks will have a tougher time selling, uh, selling those trades. So, Shirley, will it actually change? I mean, it's really quite amazing how, you know, everything is interconnected and just kind of also reminds us on, you know, some of these big clients, how important they are. Will it change the way some of the banks or some of the margin calls will operate? Or is this very idiosyncratic just because of Bill Huang's family office? Well, uh, Bill Wen, this is the, not the first time he got margin called. After two, uh, the Lehman Brothers bankruptcy, he, he got called, uh, uh, short, short squeezed uh, uh, on the Volkswagen trade in October 2008. And back then, like um, the big banks were giving the big, uh, basically big hedge funds too much leverage. So that was uh, basically 12, 13 years ago, and we are here again. So I don't know. I hope the banks uh, get to improve their compliance issues. Like right now, it's basically, it seems to me, a, a mismanagement problem. The prime brokerages, the, the front offices, basically overran the compliance and the risk uh, department's uh, decisions. And um, they, they gave the Bill Wine so much leverage, and now they are, they're basically having to soak up the losses. How much more pain surely could we see? And this is, the, you know, the premise of all of your opinion piece, and you, you were just talking about it when we started uh, th this interview. How much more pain could there be ahead, and would it be done by the end of today, or could it, you know, continue for a couple of days? I, I feel like it could continue for a couple of days. Like, uh, going back to the column, basically, like, uh, in March, the U.S. Uh, long short uh, equity hedge funds, they haven't been doing very well. Like, all the crowded trades that they, they piled into, these, these stocks got sold off the most. Uh, as we know, like, uh, the, uh, the, the stock market is um, doing a refraction trade and the value rotation, so on and so forth. So I, I think... Um, I mean, some of his uh, media picks, like uh, Bio, uh, Biocom, CBS, and the Discovery, it's not just his picks. Other hedge funds were in there too, right? They, they might also get margin calls. So I think it would be interesting to see how it plays out. So what's actually the story here? So let me explain real quick. So Bill Wang runs a family office called Archegos Capital Management. A family office means he's only using his own money. He used a lot of leverage, meaning he borrowed a lot of trades, meaning he was exposed to a lot of risk. While he was doing it, he was doing swaps. Essentially, he was gaining a lot of holdings in a lot of companies, taking a lot of bets on margin without nobody knowing about it because swaps happen behind closed doors. They have no reporting liability because it's actually changing hands outside of the normal exchanges. The speed at which Archegos actually fell apart actually shows a lot about what exactly happened here. Morgan Stanley didn't just force, you know, Archegos to just sell billions of dollars worth of stock. There's the reason. Now, that sell-off sent Baidu, Viacom, and a lot of other banks spiraling down. But the reason was, is that Bill Wang borrowed a lot of money, allegedly, to actually magnify his bets. A margin is essentially when you bet with somebody else's money. 
And if you bet aggressively, that someone can say, well, I think the risk is too great right now. I'm doing a margin call. Essentially, if the market goes and basically tells you, well, you're fucked, then your broker basically says, well, I'm doing a margin call, essentially liquidating all of your position and basically throwing, dumping everything in the market, what they did actually Friday. I mean, this whole thing is actually bigger than what happened with Melvin Capital. Melvin Capital lost about $6 billion. This is a $20 billion story. The whole concept of how a firm can go crazy, leverage the hell out of these bits and bring a lot of these stocks down so quickly is just insane to me. How the hell did he amass so much bits that he had to liquidate 20 billion just to cover the margin calls? What is going on here? It's like when you take so much margin and you do it off the exchanges so nobody actually sees the reporting, it raises a lot of questions about the efficiency of SEC here. What the hell is going on? There's a lot of questions here that need to be answered, but I wanted to bring you this information because nobody in the media is actually talking about the fact that why this got liquidated. They're just reporting the actual news. Well, Archegos got liquidated and this whole mess started. Yeah, but why were they liquidated? They got liquidated because they margin called a guy who leveraged off the exchanges much more than he was actually capable to pay. I think that the mainstream media is missing the fact that the whole story here isn't what actually happened as far as the technical aspects of basically this got liquidated, this share price went down. The why is much more interesting to me. Why this happened? It seems like it happened because Bill Wang actually leveraged the freak out of himself and he did it outside of the realm of the exchanges. So the SEC never knew about it. That is the concerning part of me that this can actually happen in 2021 and the SEC just gets to basically watch this whole thing from the side and say, well, tough. Let me know what you guys think below in the comment section. I hope you appreciated me doing this in my car. It's freezing, but I gotta give you the news. I love you all, and I'll see you on Friday when I'm back from my vacation. Later, boys.